Okay, so today is uh, one of those days when my backside gets itchy and I just need to modify something. I already have the dimmer switch to regulate the pressure for about one month now. So what I tried to do today was uh, I tried to incorporate a PID control for the heater because even on a certain few thousand ringgit machines, you will find that the temperature varies by up to maybe even uh, 10 degrees Celsius. So especially if you're unlucky enough to get a temperature somewhere in the 80s, that's uh, going to give you a very cold and boring cup of uh, espresso. So what I have done, okay, this hole is where the thermocouple cable comes out. So what I have done is, uh, I, I didn't uh, get this idea from any uh, blog or website. So what I did was, uh, okay, I was lucky enough to have a short little thermocouple that uh, fits into the slot of where the original uh, thermostat, I believe that's a brewing thermostat with the black cable and uh, this red one is actually the steaming uh, thermostat. So they're both set to different temperatures. I, I believe this one is probably a 90 plus or maybe even a 100 degree one. So it's now replaced by a thermocouple. And uh, so from what I have seen, the, the power cables come from below. They go through some, uh, I don't know whether there's a resistor or capacitor, and then it goes to, uh, it goes to the bottom. And you, you can see this is, uh, that's the heating coil. That copper thing is a heating coil. So uh, the neutral goes on top and the, the live joins below. So it basically forms a circuit. It's a very fast heating uh, coil. So that gives uh, the PID a bit of a problem in trying to control it. Uh, and also this, this PID controller came from another machine. So. I am not going to waste too much time with um, trying to, to tune the thing. But let me turn on the PID. So I have been playing with it. So you can see that the uh, temperatures are pretty still pretty high. So at 71 degrees, the, the block itself is actually too, the heater block is actually too hot to touch. Uh, below, I have an, an SSR. Of course, this, uh, this PID goes to a solid state relay hidden below. Lots of space below for the SSR to hide. And where the brewing uh, thermostat previously was, I have uh, put it below so that it's no longer in the way because this area gets hot, is it? So I don't want any loose um, wires to be touching, to be accidentally touching this and melting and, and causing problems uh, later on. So it's actually below. I, I will flip the machine over later on and you can have a look at what I have kind of done. It's, it's all uh, just, um, as you can see, the wires are pretty ugly. So it's just um, a temporary thing for now. So let's have a look at the bottom. 